Lately, I've been talking a lot about breakthroughs. And I've said this before, years ago, and I repeated it once in a while in my live streams also. A breakthrough is you saying no to a toxic restriction of society and moving forward in abundance. That is a breakthrough. So a breakthrough is an improvement on the long term. And because it's an improvement on the long term, it also triggers resistance. That's how simple it is. So, if a sudden happening is not a long-term improvement for you, it's not a breakthrough. Just because someone suddenly got a job and you earn a lot of money, while you used to be broke for years, that does not mean that they had a breakthrough. Because if that new job that pays them a lot exhausts them and eventually leads to a mental breakdown because they are burnt out and exhausted, that job also takes a toll on it takes a toll on their family life and their social life. So getting that job out of the blue that pays them a lot of money is not a breakthrough if it is at their own expense in the future. A breakthrough is any time something happens on your behalf that benefits you on the long term. That is a breakthrough. And breakthroughs are often the result of fasting and praying. Breakthroughs don't just happen out of the blue. A breakthrough is the result of you pushing forward. Alright? People that expect breakthroughs to fall out of the sky, they are delusional. Because they are following the fantasies and fairy tales of Hollywood. And even in Hollywood, there is a fight when it comes to a breakthrough. So even Hollywood is more realistic than such people. Now, for those that have real breakthroughs, let me tell you, it's a game changer. Now look, society is a dirty game. I've already explained that to you multiple times. Society is a game in which you are told that you can win if you work hard enough and play according to the rules. But the game is rigged in such a way that there's always a limited amount of people that will win. And those limited amount of people are fake. They didn't work hard, they didn't earn it, they were just selected to post as the winner. So society is a scam. But because society is a scam that involved your childhood and all the people around you, you think it's the real deal. And you want the reward. That means the acceptance of this, what you consider a real deal. But it's a fake deal, but that you think is real. And here's the thing, if you decide you don't want to participate in society, you face punishments. The number one punishment is often you can't get a job or you can't find an income. And if you, if you do, people will socially exclude you because you don't get along with what others are doing. So society is a game in which you are forced to participate. And if you don't participate, you'll be haunted and you can be harmed. And you're told that you have to forget all the violence done towards you. Plus, why? Because the violence is legitimate one way or the other. And anytime you have benefits, you have to credit society. But anytime things go wrong, it's all your fault. That is a narcissistic, dirty game called society. Now, as long as you don't have any leverage on your own, where it's a financial leverage, where it's a spiritual leverage because you have a lot of spiritual knowledge, whenever you lack any leverage that you can use on your own behalf or on the behalf of others, you have no choice but to get along with what society expects of you. You're not in a position to negotiate nor to say no. But the moment you have your breakthrough, or breakthroughs, that's a game changer. Now, you don't even have to play the game. You can just cheat on the game and get ahead in life. And because you have a leverage, people have difficulty proof proving that you cheated the game. And here's the thing, the game has been cheating you your whole life. So now that you turned around and cheated the game, that it was cheating you, and you move forward, 
that's going to be something a lot of people cannot handle. Listen, your breakthrough will be a deal breaker for many people. Why? Because once you have a leverage, because you've gained spiritual understanding and you're using it in daily life, people have to deal with your results. Let's say that you used to be a guy who was very shy about the opposite sex. You were very uncomfortable and shy even speaking of opposite sex, though to uh, issues that have it in your childhood. Then one day you go into therapy and after going to therapy, you begin to read, read self-help books of some pagans and they teach you paranormal principles of sexuality. And you, not knowing better that this is a demonic trick, you begin to use those paranormal tricks and before you know it, you had several girlfriends and you're about to get married now. Now, I don't support that, but let's say this happened. The fact alone that you advanced in how you relate with the opposite sex and now you're about to get married and you're about to become a father, this is shocking to a lot of people because people are used to seeing you as that, as that incel who can't relate to the opposite sex. That's how people related to you. And most of the people only wanted you around them because they could look down on you in secret and get narcissistic supply. That's why people kept you as a friend. That's why relatives were so kind towards you because they could avoid facing their own failures in life by looking down on yours. But now that you have breakthroughs, they have to change how they think about you. But here it comes. If it ever comes out how bad they were thinking of you, it will cause a lot of trouble and a lot of embarrassment to everyone involved. So people are uncomfortable with you actually improving. So, yes, you had your change for the better, which led to you eventually finding a life partner and becoming a father. Fine. But the environment will retaliate because they are used to the old you that they can sabotage. Because they can't sabotage the new you, and the new you will last, they now will seek to undo the new you. And they'll lose their minds when they can't sabotage you. So your breakthroughs are a game changer and a deal breaker. A game changer because now you have options that you, you can uh, walk through and a deal breaker because a lot of folks simply will refuse to accept the improved you. Now, don't get things twisted. People that use paranormal aid can have breakthroughs. However, people that use paranormal aid are often not aware of the retaliation that will follow. Those that walk by faith, they get breakthroughs and those breakthroughs are smoother because we as believers, we know that there will be retaliation and we anticipate the retaliation. So, anytime there is a sudden happening that leads to long-term improvement on your part, there is going to be some shift in relationships and there is going to be a lot of rejection and depression coming as a result. A lot of people refuse to accept the new you. They accept the improved you. They want the old you. They want the you that was addicted to crack. They want the you that was socially anxious. They want the you that was always struggling financially. They want the you that people could easily sabotage. They want the you that people could easily get rid of. They don't want the new you with a leverage that they have to deal with. They don't want the you that they can't refuse. Because because you have a leverage now, they can't say no to your influence. Because if they say no to your influence, they don't have to fight your influence because your influence is there. And because you have a leverage, you can defend your influence and persist anyway. And then they'll get exhausted fighting your influence. And that will cause them to be embarrassed, humiliated, and that will cause them to crash mentally. So you having this leverage now change your position in daily life. And this change of position is something people never ask for. So according to their mind, it's illegitimate and they don't want it. They feel as if you force them and rape them to deal with your success. 
that's how they're going to feel. They're going to feel victimized by your success. They're going to be they're going to feel victimized by your improvements. Look, breakthroughs are good. We should have breakthroughs as believers. But let me tell you, your breakthroughs are a game changer and a deal breaker. There are going to be a lot of doors that will close to you because of your breakthrough. But those doors were not worth it anyway. There are going to be birthday parties you're not going to be invited to. There are going to be weddings people don't want to see you there. There are going to be a lot of families who don't want you to be involved with one of their um, children or one of their, uh, their kin. There are going to be companies that will put you on a blacklist and don't want to hire you anymore. There are going to be actions taken against you when you have your breakthroughs. Because remember, you've broken through the toxic restrictions of society. And by doing that, society doesn't have that grip on you anymore. And because they don't have that grip on you anymore, they can't easily shut you down. So you become a threat to the stability of society. You are someone they don't want to deal with, but they have no choice but to deal with you. And they, kn they know that you know that they don't want to deal with you, but they know that you don't care and that you move on anyway. And they know that by fighting you, Eventually, they will exhaust themselves and they will faint. So they are in a no-win situation. And when people are in a no-win situation, they'll begin to throw tantrums randomly. And they'll become mentally deranged and they'll escalate. And once they escalate, they don't care about their own safety nor their own long-term well-being. They just want to escalate to spread their misery and they will demand others in the misery. I'm telling you, there are going to be people that are going to stalk you. And if you have children, they're going to even stalk your children to see how they can send uh, predators or dangerous people to hunt your children just to get to you to prove a point. Some will say, oh, shit, this is very extreme. It's very far-fetched. I'm telling you, it's not. Look at human history. Look at human history. When people in the world feel as if they can't sabotage you, they lose it. So, have your breakthroughs. Be joyous about it. But also know, it's a game changer and a deal breaker. Take both of them. Accept that it's a game changer. That's a good thing. But also accept it's a deal breaker because people are going to uh, refuse you and they're going to be upset with you. Get used to it. There's no other way around it. Be at peace.